Yo, what's up, y'all? It's your girl, Sydney Starr, the transgender diva. Some of y'all might know me from them ratchet reality TV shows like Baddies, Love & Hip Hop, Wildin' Out, The Girls Club on Tronics. You know, you know how I do. The baddest transgender bitch with the big booty. And I'm with Trashy right now. <sighs> this cute little sexy yellow bucket. We're about to talk some trash. What's the most you've done for a man that wasn't yours? Ooh, you know what? I ain't even gonna hold you. I done flew out a nigga, done paid him some money, put him in a hotel, paid him to give him some head, paid him to go to dinner, the club, bottles, all of that. Because the thing is, sometimes when I like what I like, I like to get right to it. I don't want you telling me what to do. If I'm paying you, I'm giving you your payment. If I wanna suck your dick from the back, you ain't gonna be like, hold on, we ain't talk about this. No, I gave you the $500 and you gonna do what the fuck I want you to do. Bend over, balls to the back, dick to the back. And it needs to be hairy cause I don't play with the shave shit. If you're hairy, I don't want you. You gotta come back in three months. I don't play with that shave shit. You gotta come looking like a werewolf, baby. Wear wolf, hairy as fuck type shit. <laughs> What's something weird that you enjoy? Is, I'm not even gonna lie, I love when a sexy nigga done been out all day, maybe playing basketball, you know, he coming in, maybe having a little musty, manly, sweaty smell to him. I ain't even gonna hold y'all. That turns me on. I love when my man or a nigga that I'm fucking with, come in here with that ugh, hairy ball smell. It's like the sniff sniff type thing. The nigga gotta be fine though. It can't be no mediocre nigga. He gotta be fine as fuck for me to be on some shit like that. But that's so weird because my friends be like, that's nasty as fuck. What's my type? My type is sexy, thick, strong, big leg, hairy legs, Niggas that don't mind getting their dick sucked from the back type shit. I don't want no nigga that's not a freak. You need to know when you dealing with a bitch like me, you need to be a freak. And I'm just saying like, you don't gotta be the finest nigga. You ain't gotta be sexy sexy cause I look at the little things to make a nigga cute. It could just be the nigga's legs is thick and hairy, but face look like a motherfucking baboon. I still wanna play with your baby. Make sure you got a fat old booty. Make sure that bitch is hairy. If it's shaved, you going the fuck home. Come back in three months, like I said. Gotta be hairy as fuck like a werewolf. So, yeah, that's pretty much my type. I do like a nigga that kinda can rough me up a little bit, pull my hair, choke me a little bit in the bedroom. Don't, you know, hold me to the point where I can't breathe now, but at least show me that you are the nigga in this relationship. It says, have you ever been through a whole phase? I am in a whole phase right now. I'll be in a whole phase tomorrow. <laughs> I'll be in a whole phase next week. I've been in a whole phase two months ago. I am always and forever going to be in a whole phase. No shade. I love to suck dick. Um, that's something that I have to do at least once or twice a day. And I might be sounding nasty right now, but I suck dick with Connie. So my thing is, just because I do have to suck at least two dicks a day, it's like a therapy for me. You feel me? Like, it could just be in my car. I got tinted windows in my car. I just need to pull over. Let's pull over, nigga. Pull your dick out. I get the condom. I'm sucking the dick. And that's what I do. What's the biggest lie you've ever been caught in? One of the biggest lies that I've ever been caught in, I was talking to this fine ass nigga. So fine, maybe about a week. So. We link up. I just wanted to have fun with him and like not do nothing. I just wanted to go to dinner, have lunch. Um, things got a little bit closey, closey. And I had to tell him like, baby, I'm sorry. I'm on my period right now. Like, um, I can't do nothing. I'm on my period. I've been, he like, how long you been on your period? I'm like, it's been about five, six days. And I'm thinking to myself, I hope I chose the right number because I know girls are on their period for like a week sometimes. So yeah, that was one of the biggest lies I caught myself in because I could never have probably talked to him ever again after that because he actually 
wanted to like stick it in my ass and I ain't gonna lie, I let him. <laughs> but my other lie, I had got caught up in, I was talking to two dudes at the same time. Literally, I forgot I had, this guy was supposed to pick me up, we were supposed to go like to the movies or something. I was with a dude at the same time, giving him head. The dude called that was on his way, he talking about he five minutes away. I'm on the phone like, hey, what's up, babe? You, he like, I'm on my way, babe. I'm like, all right, babe, I'm gonna be ready in about 10 minutes. Give me a minute, I'll be done in one second. So I'm stuck in this one nigga dick. Why the fuck the nigga, nigga's like five minutes away? I had to literally hurry up with him, get him to get his little rocks off, get him out of my crib, get freshened up, and go on this movie date with this one dude. He don't know, I just got done sucking dick like a motherfucking Speedy Gonzalez. Child, I need to change my life. What's one memory you've never shared with anyone? There was this one time where I was in Miami, I had a drunk night, and I met five dudes. And let's just say I invited all five dudes back to my hotel room, and we made history. <laughs> let's just say that, and I recorded everything. So yeah, that was a really, really nice memory that I've never really shared with anyone because so many people judge you these days just because of how many partners or how many dicks you done done or pussies you done licked. What's your best piece of dating advice? I'm gonna be real. My best piece of dating advice for you wonderful viewers is show your vulnerable side. Don't be afraid to pay for the bill. Don't be afraid to tell the guy or girl that you're really into them. Cause sometimes we really play too hard to get nowadays. Like I'm gonna be real as fuck with a nigga. Like if I like you, I'm gonna let you know what can I pay for? What bill can I pay? Let me, you know, take you out. Let me show you something. Like as a girl, I think we should be more vulnerable because that's what men like. Let's start being the man in the relationship. You feel me? <laughs> what is the biggest wish you would ever want? The biggest wish that I would want is um, actually for a transgender female to become president. If a transgender female was the president of the United States, it could work out. After there becomes a woman president first, of course. But if there's a transgender president, it's like you have the best of both worlds. You you know, the person who used to be a guy, now is a girl, it's like, you have a guy and a girl at the same time making decisions, you feel me? Like, it's like you really do have a guy and a girl as a president. So I feel like having a transgender person as president is definitely next after, after a woman becomes president because I definitely want to see my girl Kamala become the first woman of the United States president. And next, I want to become the best president, bitch. I want to be the president of the United States because I think I could run shit. What's your best piece of advice in bed? Mm. Yes, y'all know I'm the queen of being the freak. So let me tell you the best piece of advice of being in the bed. Make sure you're cleaned out in both places, ladies. And what I mean, both places, your vagina, and then your booty hole. Because every man likes to stick every hole, okay? Make sure you good in the booty hole, make sure you good in the vagina hole. Because if that nigga can't stick his dick in every hole of yours, he gonna cheat on you. So make sure you good, make sure you dished out, all of that. And for the men, I would say, don't go in there in the bed thinking, whatever you doing is some gay shit. Nothing is gay in the bedroom. Anything goes in the bedroom. Getting your ass licked, licking the bitch ass, everything. Everything goes in the bedroom. So don't go in the bedroom thinking, oh, I can't do this, oh, I can't do that. What do people assume about you that's usually correct? Usually people assume that since I'm a trans woman, that some people usually assume that since I'm a transgender female, that I really am just a freak. You're right, I'm a freak bitch, and I love sucking dick from the back, period. Yo, what's up y'all? It's your girl, Sydney Star, the transgender diva, and I just wrapped it up with trash talk. Cause baby, if it ain't trash, 
then it's trash. How you doing? Period, Pooh.